So the question I have for us today is, will our praise be as consistent as God's faithfulness? Good morning. I am so glad that we could be together for today's Radiant Word. Now, we're going to open up our word to Exodus 15 and 16, and we're going to get ready. Now, I hope you're strapped in because this is a roller coaster of events just between these two chapters. And so we start off with Exodus 15, and Moses and the Israelites are praising God for all he has done. He has delivered them from their enemies. The Egyptians are conquered. They've crossed the Red Sea, and they're praising God, and God is worthy of it. But then before we even get to the end of the chapter, everything begins to turn. Moses led Israel from the Red Sea and they went into the wilderness and they went to Mara and the water was bitter. They couldn't drink it. So the people grumbled at Moses saying, what are we going to drink? And God provided a way and the water went from bitter to sweet. God provided because he cares about his people. But they didn't understand that. They just saw their circumstances. Well, I'd love to hang out here, but let's keep going for just another second. And it wasn't much longer. They went off to Elam. And then from Elam, they carried on. And then they got hungry. They started complaining, oh, that we would have died at the Lord's hands in Egypt where we had pots of food to eat. And now we're hungry. And you know what happens when we're hungry. If we get hungry enough, it turns into hangry, right? Angry, hungry. And this is where they were at. They're hangry and they start complaining. And God in his goodness provides. But if you read the text, he's not exactly thrilled with the Israelites. He's not going, oh, you know what, guys, don't worry. I got you covered. It's more of a test, a test to see what the response of their hearts would be. And we see that it's not positive. So I want to pause here for a moment and just recognize what's happening here. When things are really good, the Israelites are eager to praise God and give him glory and honor because he's worthy of it. But when things begin to turn, instead of continuing to recognize that God is able, they begin to complain because things aren't going the way they expected or things aren't happening the way they think they should have gone. Uh, you know, the timing is horrible and things were better back in the day. And when we get into that kind of thinking, we begin to forget who God is. And then we begin looking for someone to blame. And we see the Israelites doing this here where they begin to complain to Moses about their situation. But the fact is that it's God who's leading them the whole time. Finally, we get to see manna up here. And this is the strange substance that shows up and sustains them for 40 years while they're in the wilderness. And you would think in this miracle, they would say, wow, God, you are amazing. And God gives them some instructions on how to proceed with this miracle. But they begin to take things into their own hands. And instead of following God's instructions, they begin to try to do things the way they think they should be done. Collecting too much manna, then, and it, then it rots, or not collecting enough, but God needs to provide extra. God is sovereign, and he is good. And when things are going great, it's easy for us to remember that. But... What about those times where God is moving us forward, but it's not in the way that we think it should be done? What's the response of our hearts? You see, God will always be faithful. But the question is, will we also remain faithful to him? These moments that we're going through are difficult. They're not easy. Some have really expressed and seen some terrible things happen within their homes and their families. For others, this hasn't been as difficult a time, but no matter what, God is still with us. And there's still a plan and a purpose in this moment for us. And we have to remember that whether we're on the top of a mountain or in the middle of a valley, our praise should be consistently faithful to him because he will always be faithful to us. I pray the Lord bless you today as you see God's goodness at work in your home and in your family and in your life. May you see God's presence and experience his goodness over you today. In Jesus' name, amen.